So you've just made a login page for your website and you want WordPress to use your new page instead of the old one that it defaults to. In this video, we're not going to install a plugin. We're going to use our own custom code that we'll insert into our website. So let's put a timer down. We're going to do this in under three minutes. Okay, so here in the back end, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our themes functions file. But if you're like me and you like using plugins instead of editing the theme functions file, just put this code inside your own plugin and it'll work the same. Okay, so let's hover over appearance. We go to theme file editor. So we can do this inside WordPress. It's very awesome. If you're doing it in the plugin, just go quickly go to plugin and then plugin editor. So here in the theme editor, we're going to go into the theme functions file. So if it's not called theme functions for your theme, then just look for functions.php. It's the same file. So here in this file, we scroll all the way to the bottom. We're going to put our code before the closing of the PHP file and after the other functions that are there. First thing we're going to do is actually make a note to say what this function is. So my note is this function is to use our login page and not the default WordPress one. Now we're going to give our function a name. So I'm calling my function my redirect login page. Make sure it's a very custom name that you give your function. You can call it anything you want as long as it's unique. Make sure there's no spaces in the name either. Then you have the open and close brackets and then you have the braces for the function. These braces is to start and end the function. So that WordPress knows that everything inside here is just part of that function. Everything outside of it is not the function. So here we're going to be using the WP redirect call. So what we want to do is we want to redirect WordPress to our login page. So just remember what the login page slug is. So if you don't know what your login page slug is, just go to pages or pages. Find the page that you're going to use as the login. Over here I have it as login. Then I say view. Then you can see my login slug is just the word login. So whatever your page's slug is, just use that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna say is we're gonna use the home URL. We're gonna have a second pair of brackets. And inside this bracket, we're gonna use that slug of the login page. And that's it, that's our function. So now all we have to do is add the action to make WordPress use our login page. So what we're gonna say is add action. We do our brackets. So inside this action, we're gonna be using the call login form login. And then the second part of this action is we have to use the name of the function that we just created. Do make sure that these things are in quotes. And that's it, it's done. Update file. Now WordPress is going to be using your login page, but we can't really stop there. If people want to register on your site, you're gonna to have to do the same thing for the registration page because that's a different call completely. The first thing that we have to know is what is the slug to the registration page? If your registration page is the same as a login page, then that's the same slug you're gonna be using like the function before. Otherwise, just quickly get the slug to your page. Let's start off by adding a note to say what this function is about. My note is this is to direct registrations to our custom page. So now again, we're gonna start off with a function and we're gonna name it something unique. So I'm calling this function my redirect register page. And again, we're gonna be using WP redirect. So again, inside WP redirect, we're gonna be using the home URL and then the slug of the register page. In my case, it's just register. Now that we have a function, now we need the action to redirect WordPress's registration page. The action we're gonna be using over here is the login form register action. And then the second variable is to use our function name for the redirection. Now all we've got to do is update the file and we are done. From now on, WordPress is going to be using our login page and our registration page. Just remember your login page slug might be a little bit different to mine. So just make sure that you're putting in the right one and not copying my code completely. If you do have a problem with this code somewhere, then that's definitely going to be where the issue is. And we are done. Very quick, huh? I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.